Well, this is a pretty cool project that I did. It's an acrylic lens assembly. And I started out with uh, just uh, some rounds of acrylic that I machined into the uh, shapes of the different components for the lens assembly. And then I had to sand and polish them to a clear finish. And uh, they're kind of hard. It's kind of hard to tell what the uh, different parts look like when you just look at the pictures because, you know, they're clear. <laughs> so you're just looking right through it. So I took the uh, solid models of the different components and the assembly and made some renderings so you can get an idea of what these parts look like. All right, so let's get started on this. So first I'm going to be making the middle piece here and you can see the rendering of the part is in the bottom left corner of the screen. That way you can uh, visualize uh, what's going on with the machining of the part. On the front side I start out by machining the convex shape of the middle piece and then I turn the uh, side angle that ramps down and that's going to create a somewhat of a dovetail shape that I can use so that I can clamp onto the part for machining the second side and then before I flip it around I go ahead and sand and polish it um, not completely to a clear finish but you know just to rough it in and then I use this undercutting bowling bar tool to cut the shape of the up two jaws, the second side jaws. And that gives me the uh, kind of the undercut shape into the jaws to hold on to the part. Um, and that held the part pretty good for the second side. And then I go in with this uh, bowling bar that kind of has a pointed shape to it so that it can plunge into the material and cut on the face of the part and also cut onto the sides of the part. And this tool works really good for cutting the concave shape of the uh, parts on the ID. So now once I finished this first part, I tried to use a torch to heat up the surface of the part to kind of uh, kind of melt the surface a little bit and blend blend in the uh, imperfections to make a clear surface on the part but uh, I found out that the torch didn't really do the job that I wanted um, so after that I abandoned it and I just went to using a uh, microfiber uh, pad with some polishing compound and, and just polish the parts to a clear finish. So what I wound up doing was using different uh, levels of sandpaper until I got down to a 2000 grit that I was using to polish out the uh, sanding marks and machining marks. Um, so I'd say I, I probably started with either a 400 or a 600 grit and then went to a thousand and then went to 2000 grit sandpaper. Um, and then I went in with the polishing compound and the microfiber pad to uh, finish up the polishing and get that clear finish. So now here I am uh, machining the top piece. And on this one, I went ahead and machined the concave uh, side first uh, with the angles on it. Um, and I gripped onto the, uh, the flange there that's at the top. I was a little bit concerned about the uh, rigidity of that flange, but uh, the machining went all right and got the part done. Now one thing that you may be noticing is the buildup of the acrylic chips. Um, when you're machining acrylic, the chip doesn't really break, but that and, and other materials that might be an issue, um, other plastic materials, because the, that can wrap around and cause some issues. 
but the acrylic chips even though they don't uh, break when you're cutting them they are really um, fragile chips I will say so they kind of crumble up uh, in your hand so they don't really cause that many issues you just need to clear them out every now and then um, and that works all right and here I am machining the um, large base and you can see I start out with a pretty good chunk of uh, material uh, machining the base and the length of it was a little bit longer than it needed to be and instead of cutting that off on the saw I just went ahead and uh, roughed it down here on the lathe and I start out by machining the back side of the base first and then once I get that done I go ahead and uh, rough sand and polish it in before I flip it around and all of these parts after I get done machining them I went back and did a finish polish on them um, to get that clear finish and now I got that uh, base flipped around and I'm going to be machining the shape on the second side which is going to have the angles and that convex shape in the bottom and that's a pretty interesting uh, bottom there uh, and that's one reason why that pointed boring bar tool came in so handy because it has to cut that convex shape on the bottom of the uh, part and then cut into the corners and cut those angles so it's got to be uh, pointed pretty good uh, to not have any rubbing issues on that boring bar tool and what I did is I went ahead and roughed and finished with the same tool and my roughing um, cycle you can see it plunges in and then feeds down in the uh, X direction and that worked pretty good I just had to reach in there every now and then and clear out the uh, chips. All right, now here we are. We're coming up on the part where you can really see the tool uh, making that profile shape on that part. And uh, yeah, that worked out really great. Now, uh, one thing you may be wondering is what is it like machining acrylic and I will say that acrylic is a brittle material so you can't feed too fast otherwise you'll start chipping the material and you'll have some issues uh, the other thing is you don't want to have too high of a surface footage when you're machining it because uh, you don't really want to melt the chips you don't want to melt the material uh, you want to be cutting it so it's a combination of not having too high of a surface footage and also not feeding too fast when you're cutting it. Otherwise, um, it machines relatively friendly. And then once I got the uh, base finished, I took the uh, base and the top and I clamped them together and put them in a vise on the mill. And I machined the bolt pattern in both pieces um, at the same time and that worked pretty good and after I got the uh, milling done on these parts they were all pretty much done I just went ahead and did the uh, final polishing on the parts um, and they came out looking pretty nice well thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and take it easy